Scientists have built an artificial finger covered with leather human cells. Japanese scientists built a robotic finger covered with a living finger, skin-like tissue. This substance is hydrophobic and can do it on its own regenerate and has a consistency like our own skin, because it actually folds made of human skin cells. The largest organ ceases to be the domain of living organisms. It's about the skin, of course. Everything indicates that we will be there soon they had to extend thinking about skin to robots as well. But what else? More important, this time there is no question of artificial skin. Scientists in Tokyo have developed a substance consisting of human skin cells covered by a remotely controlled robot finger. Coating this grew already on the finger was not bred separately in the laboratory. Authors the invention claims that their skin can change their approach to humanoids robots covered with it and make them indistinguishable from humans first glance. The description and results of the research were published in the journal Matter. Work on the skin was carried out by a team of scientists under headed by Shoji Takuchi, professor at the Faculty of Mechanical Systems and Biofunctional University of Tokyo. Unlike others of this type projects are not artificial leather, but to some extent live. In the project a mechanical finger was used because on one side its components are already well known and tested for their effects, on the other hand because the fingers are with many reasons are crucial for the functioning of robots. Scientists tried to give new skin 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 features human, including in terms of its structure. At the very beginning, a robotic finger immersed in a solution of collagen, the most important component of human skin, I.E. fibrillar or fibrous protein, and human fibroblasts. Let's remind, that these are also important building blocks of human skin. Then it was waited until the applied layer of solution tuned to the appearance of the finger. The next step was to use human keratinocytes. In case human skin they are responsible for the production of keratin. It's also thanks before the cells of our epidermis, our outermost layer, are formed skins. The finger in question was therefore equipped with layers of skin in part corresponding human. It is also worth emphasizing that the finger could have been in such skin move completely freely, so it is a step in the right direction. Equipping robots with significantly human-like skin it will increase the possibilities available to robots. First of all, it's easier it will play it. Already during the research, it was noticed that in the event of damage all you had to do was apply a collagen bandage to your mechanical finger he made the damage heal. The new leather will certainly give robots new ones possibilities in the context of working with moist materials. Another issue is of a purely practical nature. Let's imagine the robot's skinless fingers try to capture the cup. Material, with what fingers are made of is hard, just like a cup. This makes that catching the cup must be extremely precise, including in the context of selected strength because even a minor mistake can lead to its destruction. If however, the robot's hand would be covered with skin, a margin of potential error it would be increased because the skin would absorb pressure. A team of scientists plans to carry out further work on the skin for robots. First of all, so far, you can't 100% yet. Say the skin is alive. Nothing nourishes her, nor can she do it like that for example human skin removes used cells so it's not complete self-sufficient that's why Shoji Takuji is thinking about equipping her with a specific one equivalent to a vascular system there are even more plans making it similar to the human one by adding elements such as nails hair follicles and even sweat glands